Let me bring you closer to me a little bit. There you go. You're closer to me. We shall begin with my wedding update. Yay! Hi, everybody. How are you? Happy Sunday or Monday. You're probably watching this on a Monday or any day of the week because it's YouTube and you can watch YouTube whenever. Like every week, I'm going to go over um, what I did this week briefly uh, in how I have lost one pound. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. I lost one pound. Last week, I was at 158.6 and this week, I'm at 157.6. I have lost another pound this week. Yay! And I wanted to talk about two things. One, I want to talk about what I did this week to lose this pound. And two, I want to talk about what I have been doing in general because I do get a lot of questions about how I'm losing a pound a week. I wanted to go over that and kind of give you a general idea of what I do every week and talk about how to lose a pound a week without starving yourself and just by sticking to your calories. I'm gonna keep it very brief what I've done this week because I wanted to talk about one specific part of my week um, and really go dive right into that um, but for the generic part of my week I have been staying at 1500 calories every day I have not actually been eating a lot of chicken I usually do I eat a lot of chicken but this time I've kept very like I've kept I've kept a very like pizza and carbs and um, what else have I had I had some cheese sandwiches and I had some ravioli so i haven't i have i've had pasta but i have not had a lot of chicken this week in terms of food i have been sticking to 1500 calories every week um and once i jump over to how to lose a pound a week i'm gonna get into how i count my calories and exactly what i do for this food wise it's been the same as always you guys know what i eat i talk about what i eat here all the time i have my shake in the morning that is made with protein um, powder and some slim fast and some uh, peanut butter powder and I have so, a neck or I'll have a fruit and then in the afternoon I'll have a sandwich another snack I love bill bars and then at night I'll have a regular dinner with chicken sometimes uh, vegetables a potato sometimes I have a pizza it's just honestly it's very simple and boring the things that I eat uh, but I stick to them most of the time I don't get bored of them I wanted to talk about exercise because finally I finished my couch to 5k program Yay! I am still not able to run the 5k under 30 minutes, but um, I was able to finish the program and I'm very proud of myself. So I'm gonna a little pat in the back. I will be restarting the couch to 5k um, this week because I want to work on my speed. I love the couch to 5k app. I really think it's because of that that I've grown a lot of muscle and that I um, broke my plateau. Now, I want to talk about the classes that I'm taking in the afternoon. I want to I want to make sure to say this is not an affiliated thing. I don't have, I don't get any money for recruiting people. I get, this is literally a class that I love, that I think I am seeing results from, and that I'm really, 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 really loving every single night that I take it. Um, and I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm taking Zumba cloning classes, and those classes are basically dancing while you do some strength training, some squats, some abs. And so it's so fun to do them because in the middle of those, exercises you're dancing for the first four songs you just dance and you do cardio and then you jump i'm taking those classes every tuesdays and thursdays they're five dollars each class i sign up to do every tuesdays and thursdays for the month of june is through zoom i have high hopes for this class really high hopes for this class actually because i took it last week tuesday and thursday and i feel so strong already i feel pumped i feel like my muscles are being exercised and um it's just so much fun i feel like the hour passes by so quickly you're from home you're in your living room looking at her in zoom and she's so fun to watch and it's just such a nice class i really highly recommend everybody joining the class um like i said i get nothing out of this i don't even know her that well uh, my friend recommended the instructor i just really fell in love with the class and i am seeing benefits out of that class now for those of you that don't don't speak Spanish this class is in Spanglish the instructor's first language is Spanish and she does manage English so she she does say some things here and there in English and last week I gave her a little shout out on Instagram and she got a few new students and because of that in her class on Thursday she was speaking more in English so I think that will be really really fun and it was very inclusive to everybody you will do some Spanish do some English mostly Spanglish um, but you can definitely follow the class along and I highly recommend it I really really like it now I know a lot of classes are free and you can find a lot of different YouTube videos with classes but I personally really really like life classes because I feel like it's holding me accountable so Zumba toning 
Tuesdays and Thursdays, 7 p.m. Eastern time, $5 each class. You can contact Sandri. I'm gonna leave her Instagram below on my description. She is an absolute doll. Now, moving on to talking about exactly how I have been losing a pound a week. It is very much precise on the dot. That's exactly what I have been losing. Ever since I started quarantine, I have seen a big change on the scale, and I'm gonna tell you how I have been losing one pound every week since I started quarantine. Number one, I have been very, very strict with my calories. What does that mean? That means measuring what you eat. That means using a food scale. It doesn't matter which one you use. Use any food scale you have online. Amazon has great ones for cheap prices. Um, any that I can find. I found my, mine at Publix, generic. I grabbed it and that's what I had. Uh, so measuring your food, making sure you're eating the amount that you are telling fit, my fitness pal that you're eating. Also, it's very important to me that I don't add and subtract the calories that I'm burning when I'm exercising. So whether I work out or I don't work out, I stick to 1,500 calories every day. Uh, and by 1,500 calories, I mean I measure everything and I count everything. Vegetables, fruits, everything is being very much tracked and put into my fitness pal every single day um, and when I don't that's when I see myself not losing weight when I skip on that when I don't measure when I don't weigh my food that's when I see a plateau on my scale and because I have been very very on point with counting my calories um, I have been losing a pound a week and I think honestly that's where it comes down to but I'm gonna give you a, other, a few other tips people sometimes ask me how to count calories I am not sure how to explain that other than I read the label in the back and then whatever the label says that's what I eat so for example the label says four ounces of ham are 300 calories then I will measure my ham on my scale and then I will eat the calories that the package the label is telling me they are and that's how i measure my calories when it comes to big meals when it comes to meals that i'm making for um, a lot of days or a lot of people if you have a family what i do is i measure every ingredient and i count down the calories of each ingredient either i write it down on my fitness pal on my note on a paper i like doing it on paper because it's just right there i don't have to touch my phone um so if i'm using two cups of oil then i'll write two cups of oil and the amount of calories those are and then I'll use, I don't know, four tomatoes. And then I'll add up four tomatoes, 50 calories. And then at the end of my cooking, I will add up all those calories. And then I will divide them by the amount of servings that I'm getting out of my meal. And that's how I count calories when I make a big meal. Other things that I do, I am making sure that I'm eating protein most of my meals this week i didn't but most of the time i try to have some kind of protein in everything i eat whether it's a snack or it's my regular meal because protein will help with hunger the whole point of sticking to your calories is that you stick to them and you're not hungry either so protein will help with hunger and my trick is to just have any kind of protein in any meal that i eat or any snack that i have even in desserts i'll have like halo top with some bu peanut butter sometimes before i go into the kitchen i ask myself are you hungry or are you just craving something are you bored uh do you have anxiety are you emotionally eating and so there are a lot of questions that i ask myself before i eat if i don't know exactly if i'm hungry or not if i'm hungry but i already have breakfast and i'm still hungry i tend to go for either a bill bar like a protein bar or i'll go for a fruit my favorite fruit in the world is a banana followed by oranges usually water really does a trick for me i drink about two liters of water every day maybe a little less advice to lose one pound a week is making sure you're eating your vegetables any kind of vegetables will do it pick one that you like and eat that all day um because vegetables will keep you full are vegetables necessary for weight loss i don't think so but they do help with hunger so maybe they are uh, i am trying to eat more vegetables don't add or reduce or subtract the calories that i'm burning when i'm working out i don't even look at that mainly because it's not accurate sometimes when you have a machine, when you have a clock or a nap that's telling you, yeah, you burned 300 calories on this walk. It may not always be accurate and I don't want to count something that I didn't do. So I stick to 1500 calories whether I work out 
or not and that does make my life easier if you are sticking to your calories working out is maybe just a cherry on top of the cake um, because there are times that I haven't worked out and I have lost the same amount of weight than the weeks that I did work out but working out is so healthy for you and it's really really helpful for for your energy and for your motivation and for your discipline and if you feel like you worked out that day a lot of the times you want to continue the health path and that for me at least when I work out I'm like okay I already worked out let me continue being healthy I encourage everybody to work out you don't have to go hard you don't have to have all this elaborate exercises for you even going on a walk for 20 minutes will do I do that I don't have structure for how I work out people ask me how often do you work out for how long you work out for I don't really have structure for that sometimes I do it for an hour when I'm doing my zoom zumba classes um, and sometimes I do it for half an hour sometimes I just don't do it at all and it just really depends on my mood how I'm feeling and working out has to be fun for me and if it's not fun that I'm gonna not do it so I gotta make sure that whatever I'm doing it and the time that I'm doing it for is something that I choose because I want to do that and because it feels right. In terms of cravings, I think one of the best things and one of the best advices I've heard is eat your cravings. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because if you hold off on eating your cravings, not everybody, because we all work differently, so it doesn't apply to everybody. But if you, you think it might apply to you, holding off on having your cravings just builds up the want for the craving. And once you have it, you want to eat all of it. Portion control, small portions, moderation. I count my calories as part of my calories and I will have my craving, whether it's sprinkles or ice cream or any other thing that may come to my head. Um, so I do try to go for my cravings uh, throughout the week so it doesn't build up for one cheat day or one cheat meal I don't necessarily do cheat days or cheat meals however on Sundays I don't count calories but that's about it I am used to finishing my last meal of the day at 6 p.m. because that's how I was raised we always had dinner at 5 30 or 6 in my house and then we're done eating and that's what I do now I keep it very chill I don't stress out over anything I don't weigh myself every day I only weigh myself once a week and I'm done one and done or else I will just be in my head all the time i don't stress too much about it throughout the day the only focus that i have is sticking to my 1500 calories of course there are days that i go over my calories it's normal it's no reason to feel frustrated about or feeling like a failure it just happens we all eat it's just part of human life um so when you when that happens and you overeat or you go over your calories the next day just start fresh there's nothing else to do but to start fresh drink water eat your fruits eat your vegetables and you'll be good to go in terms of this new week this new week i'm gonna be focusing on starting couch to 5k again and doing my Sumba toning classes Tuesdays and Thursdays. I am so excited for the classes. I am so excited to build muscle and have fun. And in terms of food, I want to eat more vegetables. Today, I'm actually going to do some meal prepping and I'm going to make myself a bunch of veggies for side dishes. I don't know if building muscle will interfere with the scale, but if it does, I am happy about it. I really want to build muscle. I'm ready for this new stage. I am ready to work my booty off this summer and I'm ready to become Hulk. All right, that's all. Thanks for watching. You don't have to like and subscribe. Like always, don't go to the gym, drink your water, do your squats, count your calories, don't count in your calories, do whatever's gonna make you feel your best. I support it. I'm out. Peace.